we have the opportunity to use sheathless and radial artery. Sheathless helps us to prevent radial occlusion because we have less diameter of the guiding catheter because we are not using a sheath. We have less shear stress in the radial artery by using, for example, the railway system where you have a smooth transition from the railway system to the guide. Respecting the radial artery is very important for our everyday practice. Uh, in um, most of the patients, we unfortunately need to make more interventions than just one. And so we need to preserve the radio to have the ability uh, to do some future interventions. So it's very important to have a nice closure of the radial artery without an occlusion of the radial artery so we can use it again.